Thank you. Thank you. Everything's taken care of. The bank manager? Mm-hmm. I told him we had reason to believe that there are some irregularities in the capital account. Is that enough to point him in the right direction? No question, Dolly. When he takes a look at the records, he can't help but see that Gina's had her hand in the till. She's going to be behind bars before the night is out. I hope a nice long jail sentence is a threat enough so she'll turn over that tape. She's going to be begging to make a deal. Listen to me, honey. It's all over soon. Kelly will be coming home. Count on it. Look, until I tell you otherwise... Oh, afternoon. Or is it? You're still looking rather corpse-like, Cece. What do you want, Gina? Just spreading good cheer, that's all. Oh, by the way, Sophia, I do want to compliment you on your wonderful performance when Cece died. I had no idea you were so good. Oh, thank you, Gina. But in all modesty, I have to say, when I told you how much I despised you, I wasn't acting. <laughs> it's hard to tell the difference. Ever wonder when you're in bed with her what's real uh, and what's an act? Get out of my sight oh, if I knock you on your... Oh, your heart. I know you're in a snit because you couldn't save Kelly, but, well, that should be a lesson to you. Leave breaking the law to people who are good at it. Oh, Gina, there is no question. When it comes to being underhanded and perverse, you are superior. I'll be upstairs if anybody calls or sends flowers. I think a small bomb would be more likely. Oh, Cece, don't be so silly. The only two people who would want to do that are standing right here. And you're not in any position to hurt me now, are you? So I guess it's just another lucky day for me. I can't take it much longer. You won't have to. Because that uh, woman's luck is about to run out. Mason, if I had to... Don't wait up for me. You know, that smug smile on her face gives me the most uncontrollable urge to smack her silly. I know the feeling very well. Sure, I'm much to smile about tomorrow, I promise you. And when we get Kelly back, we can concentrate on our other problems. I don't... If, as long as I get Kelly back, I'm happy. That's it. Have you forgotten about Victoria Lane? Yes. Yes, I did, temporarily. Mason has not been able to get her to marry him, you know. Mason wouldn't go into... Something like that without giving a lot of thought? Oh, I don't know. I think with the uh, right incentive, he might. What incentive? What are you talking about? Nothing. nothing. I know that he's, uh, he's got very deep feelings for that woman. It's all I know. Oh, but, uh, uh, what incentive, Cece? If Mason marries Victoria Lane and claims a child and the child is a boy, he uh, will inherit a sizable fortune. The boy will because of the codicil in my father's will. And you call that an incentive for Mason? There are many women in this town that Mason could have married if he cared about the codicil and Emmett's will, and they would have given him a dozen sons by now. The only time he was ever interested in getting married was for love, and that was to marry. So what aren't you telling me? What the hell difference does it make as long as he marries her and keeps her away from Cruz and from our daughter? Oh, God, what have you done? What have you offered him? I told him I would make him a very rich man if he married that woman. You are trying to buy and sell your own son? And we, if we are the ones that accuse Gina of making a mockery of something sacred, that marriage should be based on, on love and understanding and trust. Yes, whenever possible, Sophia, whenever possible. Can you really have become so cynical? Listen to me. I married Gina in order to protect Kelly. I want Mason to marry Victoria in order to protect Eden. What's wrong with that? And who's going to protect Mason? Be serious. You bet I'm serious. Cece, he is your son. How do you think he feels? Having his own father try to bribe him into making the most important decision of his life? Look, I don't even know what you're ranting about anyway, because you turned down about anyway. So what did I do of any harm? You really don't know. No, I really don't well, know. Well, then I will tell you. Manipulating people with your power and your money is wrong. Picking and choosing which child you will love and stand by and which child you will sacrifice for the other ones is wrong and it's immoral. I am immoral. You better understand this. It was more than my daughter. She was my friend. She was all I had in those years. A ten-year-old. The only person in the world who understood me. Do you understand that? I'll protect her happiness with my life. Get that straight, Sophia. 
And Mason, what's the difference with him? He's got no direction, he's got no goals, he's got no center. It's not as though he's being deprived of anything. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's so. How do you know that? You just tell me how you know that. Because Mason would be a fool, and understandably so, if he ever shared his most personal, private feelings with you. Hey, we got her. She took the bait. She took the bait. Police.